Hey guys, so I'm going to do something a little bit special for you, and you're going to actually see me recording a podcast episode, which is also great because you're going to get the information for the podcast episode, and you're going to get it before the podcast episode goes up. Now, today's episode is about Valentine's Day and what to do about Valentine's Day. So let's uh, let's get moving on the the podcast and you're going to hear exactly what I have to say. So if you are in one of the four categories of relationships, which you likely are because they're the four categories, (laughs) uh, it's going to be really useful for you. Okay. And obviously it is the Man Whisperer podcast. So if if you're not a subscriber yet, then make sure to subscribe and um, go to loveactuallyacademy.com if you want to get, um, this is a super special for today, $100 off of my Love Actually Academy if you use code LOVE100 at checkout. So instead of $4.97, it's only $3.97. And that is seven video hours of coaching with me, plus a over 192-page workbook to help you to date, love, marry, and break up if you need to better. All right, so let's get started on the podcast. So what's the problem? Today, it's what to do about Valentine's Day. But first, if you want your questions answered on Man Whisperer, please send me an email to laurel at laurelhouse.com. Also, if you like the topic, and even more than that, if you like the show, please go to iTunes and subscribe, give us five stars, and comment or ask a question. I just might read your comment out loud and even dedicate a podcast episode to answering your question. Your support seriously makes all the difference in the world. It will help to keep us on the air. Plus, you'll make me smile. So, all right. Today we're talking about Valentine's Day because it's a day that can be really stressful for a lot of people. Um, Regardless of if you're single or in a relationship um, or what phase of the relationship, it can be not only stressful but also dangerous. (laughs) Dangerous in that it can be dangerous for the relationship. It can also be dangerous to yourself. Um, And the reason why checking to make sure it was recording all of a sudden. I thought, wait a second, did I not hit record? But I did. Uh, The reason why it can be dangerous is because of expectations. So let's go through the four relationship phases and we're going to talk about what to give, the activity, the expectations, and what absolutely not to do. So if you're in a brand new dating situation, so I'm talking up to eight dates, the gift. This is going to be a solo at-home activity that you give to them. You don't want to be so assumptive in that you are expecting that you're going to do the activity together. Give them something thoughtful based on conversation that you guys have had on previous dates. So, for example... If she is on a quest to find the best gimlet in the city, then why don't you give her a gimlet making kit with gin and roses, lime juice, and some real, some actual limes for garnish, and maybe a rose. And and a description saying, you know, I know you're searching for the best gimlet. I bet you can make an incredible gimlet. Here are all the fixings. Um, If it's a dad and he's always talking about how he loves to make pancakes for his kids, then maybe give him a pancake making kit complete with the mix and then the toppings. So strawberries, whipped cream, which maybe you're going to use later. Um, Not with his child. Uh, And then um, maybe like a dinosaur cookie cutter or something to to make it cute. You might want to do an art set. I mean, just do something for them, an activity for them. Okay, so now what activity are you going to do on Valentine's Day? First of all, do acknowledge the day, no matter what, you know, um, even if you're not necessarily going out. But you should ask them to go out. If you haven't discussed it, it is not too late to ask them out on a date. And if you do go, it's nothing too romantic. So maybe drinks or dinner at a cool little restaurant. All right, expectations. Unless you have already had the exclusivity conversation, don't expect that the two of you are going out together. You are not necessarily Valentine's yet. Um, That being said, if you are planning on being together and you do feel like your relationship is at a place where you can take it up to the next phase, you're ready to step it up a little bit, then this is the perfect day to have that conversation. Yes, it is a romantic day and people think it's, you know, 
cliche to do something romantic on the romantic day, but that's crazy, okay? It's not cliche to do something romantic on the romantic day. Take fucking advantage of the romantic day and be romantic. So if the next phase of your relationship is going off the apps, have that conversation if you're ready, not just because it's Valentine's Day and you think you should. If the next phase is talking about exclusivity, if the next phase is being boyfriend, girlfriend. But again, only if you feel like your relationship is ready for it, not because you feel like you should because of the romance of the day. You don't want to do something you're going to regret. Okay, now what not to do? Do not surprise them at their house with flowers. Um, You might not like what you find because they might be with someone else if you haven't had that exclusivity conversation. All right, if you are in a newish relationship, so you've been dating for up to two years, the gift, a couple's activity plus an actual gift that goes along with it. So for example, you might give a handmade gift certificate to a weekend wine country trip plus some beautiful new wine glasses. You might give a gift certificate to a cooking class that you're going to do together plus a beautiful salt and shaker um, set or a cheese board. You might do a gift certificate to dance classes plus a sexy pair of shoes and some or some cool sneakers. The activity. The point, sorry, the point is that you want to make sure that you do something that's going to help you guys become more cohesive, more connected, and that is through some sort of a couple's activity, but also a gift because Look, we like gifts, okay? People love gifts. And it also sort of says like, you know, let's remember that this is when we decided to take that dance class or whatever it is. The activity. You want to do something nice. So a nice dinner out or in. Um, You can make reservations somewhere or you can cook dinner or you can order for delivery. If you are going to order for delivery or, or cook dinner in, make it nice, okay? Dress up, put some effort into it, put out nice placemats, put some candles, some flowers. Don't just sit at the coffee table. If you're a little bit uncomfortable with this, let your partner know that this is the expectation so they don't come over all schlumpy and you're like all dolled up. So you can say, I'm excited about Valentine's Day. I know it's kind of a cliche holiday, but um, I'm I'm putting on my sexy orange dress for you or I'm putting on, I'm putting on a, a suit or a button up and And I'm excited to have a romantic evening. Something like that. Um, If you feel like it's too late, you have no, if you can't get a reservation anywhere, no excuses. You can have everything delivered. You know, we are in the day and time where in most cities you can have flowers, candles, uh, everything delivered. You can also just go and do a picnic outside or a picnic on the floor or a candle. It doesn't matter. Just do something romantic expectations. So again, this is a great opportunity for you to step up the relationship because it is the day of romance. So yay. If you are at a point where it's time to say I love you, okay, get engaged, suggest moving in, um, proposing, suggest having a child, planning a great party or trip together. Do something that is allowing you to connect and to move the relationship forward if you feel like it's the time to move the relationship forward. Um, and, And it doesn't matter if anyone else is like, oh my gosh, it's so lame that he proposed on Valentine's Day. It's not lame, okay? It's not. It's not, it is the day of love. This is not about celebrating Valentine's Day. This is about celebrating the relationship. It's a difference, okay? What not to do. Do not assume anything. This might be your first Valentine's Day together um, as a couple. So talk about what your expectations are. Talk about what you typically like to do for Valentine's Day. Talk about what you've always wanted to do for Valentine's Day. It might secretly be a huge deal to you and you show up with all of these gifts and they're like, yeah, it's just another another day and they might show up with a card. That's going to be awkward. It could be a big deal for them and they show up with gifts and you have nothing. That could be awkward. So have that conversation and also then come to the conclusion that why don't we just celebrate our relationship? You know, let's let's use this as an excuse to do that. What not to do. Um, oh, that was what not to do. Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself and confused. Just keep on talking. I know I do that sometimes. Anyway, all right. Next, long-term relationship. So you've been together for two years plus. Gift, something romantic and special, okay? You may have gotten into a comfortable rhythm. It's easy now. Or maybe it's you're in an awkward phase because you're not talking. Maybe you've been fighting. Maybe something's been going on. Do something special. 
let your, let your partner know that you guys are, you know, you still have it. Give a nice piece of jewelry, a pretty dress, something to support a favorite shared activity. If you guys golf together, do golf clubs, a gift certificate to a romantic vacation. What's the activity? It doesn't matter as long as it's romantic. One idea is to surprise them with an overnight. So go to dinner at a hotel, then surprise them by pulling out a room key. What they don't know is that you packed your bags and their bags and you already got the hotel reservation and the the bags are in the car or in the room. Or you could go to um, a romantic location and then go get a massage. Or you could have a massage therapist come to the house. Or you could do something else that is romantic and different. Um, you can bring out a deck of cards that allows you to have conversations. Um, you can also go to loveactuallyacademy.com and I have a um, hundred conversation starters that help to deepen and expand the relationship in the workbook. So that if you don't want to go and do that immediately, then you can um, go online and look at conversation starters. There are so many ways and you can call it out, you know, call out that you're doing something a little bit awkward. You can say, yeah, we probably talked about everything. So I thought it would be fun to find something else to talk about. So I came up with these conversations and I thought it would be kind of neat to sort of explore them together. It it helps to make it less awkward. When you call out the awkward, it makes it less awkward, okay? Um, another thing that you could do is go to one of your first date your first date spot or go to the location of an important date that you guys had together. You know, you could do a scavenger hunt. I know it's a lot to do last minute, but do an activity that allows you to connect. So expectations, nothing except for connecting and romance, okay? This is all about celebrating you guys, communicating, being on the same page. So if you're not, if, if you haven't celebrated Valentine's Day for years because you're just sort of over it, then you can say something like, you know what? Let's celebrate us and our relationship. It's been too long. Uh, let's not talk about kids or stress or chores or frustrations. Let's just let's just connect. And again, that's where the cards or the conversations come in to help stimulate that conversation. What not to do? Nothing. Do not do nothing. You've been together a long time. You and they haven't forgotten how it feels to feel special and loved and romanced. So do it. If it's awkward for you to be romantic after all of this time, put the onus on Valentine's Day. You know, put the onus on me. Use me as the excuse to be romantic. Well, Laurel says we have to be romantic, so let's do it. And then be all in. You know, let's really get romantic. Let's let's do this. Um, there's a book that I love called 101 Nights of Great Sex, another one, 101 Nights of Great Romance, I believe. And it's by Laura. They're both Laura Korn. And she has great, interesting ideas. Um, okay, so next, you're single. What do you do? gift. Yay. You don't have to spend money on anyone else. You can buy exactly what you want for yourself, not what you need. Get something that you want, like flowers, a massage, jewelry, shoes, whatever, something nice, activity, anything that makes you feel loved. So if that's a nice bath with candles, if it's a beautiful meal, um, you know, even if you're alone, pull out the candles, do the nice placemats, do the flowers, get dressed up, have on nice music, allow yourself to feel beautiful and sexy and, and great because it, you need to treat yourself the way that you want to be treated. You need to be the example of your expectation and of your desires. So start Start doing it. Start being it. Start putting out that energy of romance and importance and priority. And that's what you're going to start to pull into. Okay. So what's the expectation? Um, the expectation is that you're going to do exactly what you want to do without care of what anyone else thinks about it. Okay. And it's not like a, oh, poor me, kind of do what I want to do or, or screw everyone else. I'm just going to celebrate me and like be angry about it. No, this is about being beautiful and feeling happy. You know, go just do whatever that means. Do that. Go take a yoga class. Go for a run. I don't care. Do something that makes you feel loved and healthy and important and like the priority. What not to do? Do not sit there and wallow. OK, do not resort to bad habits because you're trying to make yourself feel better. Do not call or stalk an ex. Um, do not go and do anything that's going to make the situation worse for you. Why would you do that? Doesn't it feel good to feel good? So let's not put yourself into a position or a headspace that's going to force you to feel bad. 
Okay. Um, oh, another thing that you can do actually is uh, for an for activity if you want to. I've done this before and it was super fun. With online dating, I ended up going on a first date. I was just messaging someone and and we were like, yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Yay. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. And I was like, we should go out. Like, oh no, actually he said, obviously. I said, I, I'd love to do something, you know. And he said, can I take you on a date even though it's Valentine's Day? I said, absolutely. We had a great date. It was really fun to be out. You know, it was kind of like, it's kind of funny that we're out there with all of these couples, but who cares? As long as, again, you call out the awkward, then it makes it okay and it makes it less awkward. The point is, though, that this is, yes, it's the day of love, and that means the day of love for other people, and that means the day of love for yourself, and that means the day of love for your relationships, okay? It is not about Valentine's Day. It is about you. It is about them. If you have a them, it is about your partnership. It is about the people you love. You know, have I've spelt, spent Valentine's Day before with my son, and it was the most beautiful Valentine's Day. We went outside and we picked flowers, and, and it was so special and perfect. So just do something, do something like that. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Did I forget one of my gifts? No, I think I got all my gifts because I just now thought of another gift. But now I'm thinking about things that I've done in the past. Um, I had a boyfriend who bought me a, a fancy dinner uh, with a celebrity chef with Thomas Keller. And, um, and so the gift was actually a tomato plant. Because what the dinner was going to be that Thomas was going to cook a lot of different types of tomatoes. And that was only part of the meal. But but it was like a tomato-themed meal because Valentine's Day and red and there were all these other red items. So anyway, um, he he got me and, and we lived in Kansas City, Missouri at the time. And so it was snowing and there weren't fresh tomato plants. So he had to source a tomato plant from somewhere else and he had it flown like overnighted or something. It was really, it was really sweet. And it was such a great Valentine's Day gift. And I was really excited about the dinner and I was really excited about the tomato plant because I wanted a tomato plant in my garden. Um, so anyway, look, don't stress about Valentine's Day. Take take the stress away. Take the expectation away and just be calm and communicative and allow yourself to feel loved and to love. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and listening and um, and don't forget to go to loveactuallyacademy.com and claim your $100 off. It's a special gift if you go to um, go enter promo code LOVE100 at checkout. So instead of $497, it is $397. And, um, and that is my gift to you for Valentine's Day because you deserve and it is your time to feel loved from yourself and from another. All right. Bye, guys. Hope to see you soon.